Hi everyone, Big Paulie back for a brand new Blu-ray hunt. Yes, I popped over here to Folkestone today. We're going to go and have a look in the town centre shortly. Uh, but one of the main reasons I've decided to come over here today is because there is a new charity shop that's opened up called the Salvation Army Donation Centre Plus. And uh, it only opened yesterday, so hopefully they've still got some stuff in there and that the uh, physical media hasn't been all picked over. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, I'm going to hear about it. Man finds a thousand steel books on opening day. Bought them all and I've missed out. <laughs> yeah, uh, so we're going to go in there and have a look. It's supposed to be 2,000 square feet, so sounds like a biggie. Uh, hopefully there's lots of Blu-rays and maybe maybe a 4K or two and some DVDs. Maybe some other stuff as well. Uh, don't know if they've got any computer games, you know, uh, console games, so we'll have a look. Uh, and then after we're done there, we'll pop into Folkestone Town Centre. Right, OK, let's go and have a look in the Salvation Army Donation Centre Plus before somebody comes in and steals all the media. Let's go and have a look. OK, so here it is, the Salvation Army Donation Centre Plus. So uh, let's go in and have a look, see if they've got any lovely physical media. I am actually a day late because it opened yesterday, so I bet all the 4Ks in the still books have gone. <laughs> anyway, let's go and have a look. Okay, quite big. Not as big as I thought it was going to be, though. There's definitely a lot of home stuff in here. Tables and chairs and clothes and stuff. Here's all the, uh, the physical media, though. So uh, we do have a load of DVDs. Uh, is that three for a pound, I think that says up there? There's a load of Doctor Who ones here. And some X-Men as well there. And also Miami Vice on, on playback label. Uh, down here we've got another load of DVDs. Um, just having a look through these. We've got Goonies there. And uh, another row down here. Um, looking for the oh, right Blu-rays. Okay, what have we got? It looks like a lot of one. Oh, is that Batman? Got Life of Brian. That's a DVD. Uh, Coriano, I think that is Lee Evans. Uh, yeah, Batman Begins. There's a lot of these. Why is someone traded in loads of those? That's really strange. Uh, there's more DVDs there. And uh, yeah, not a lot Blu-ray wise, but uh, there'll be another time we can come over and hopefully have a look. There might be some others. I do have West Side Story on DVD here, uh, but they do have a lot of games as well, like Catchphrase and uh, Snakes and Ladders. There's uh, jigsaw puzzles and all sorts of stuff. Uh, we've got Lego Billionaire, uh, Catch Me If You Can, whatever that is. And uh, Origami, I think that is. Uh, and there is a uh, Star Wars uh, Force Awakens puzzle, whether or not it's got all of the pieces. More toys and stuff here for the kids. All sorts of stuff. Loads of donations. And people are bringing stuff in all the time. Puzzles. Uh, here's like a little basket. It seems to be filled up with like diaries and like phone covers. There's a Star Wars phone cover there. There's a guitar there, and uh, we've got some uh, Xbox stuff here, 360 and Xbox One. Don't think any of this is worth much, uh, but we do also have loads of electrical stuff, like uh, coffee makers, you know, some hi-fis. There's a, quite a few toasters in here, quite a few nice-looking toasters, uh, all colourful ones as well. OK, so I didn't pick up any Blu-rays or DVDs or anything, but I did find this black, like, ex argus type cabinet for seven pounds you see that seven pounds yeah so i was looking for some more shelf space so uh saves me going to argos and getting the screwdriver out okay so yes out of the salvation army donation center plus i think it's called plus yeah um two thousand square feet it's not as big as i thought it was going to be Compared with the one in Maidstone that I go to, the uh, Demelza Warehouse, it's about half the size. Yeah, they did have a, they did have physical media though, a lot of DVDs. Not so much on the Blu-rays. Whether or not they had anything on opening day yesterday, I don't know. Uh, they seem to have a lot of Batman Begins on Blu-ray though, 
with their like white Japanese type, you know, art covers. So I don't know why they've got so many of those. But uh, not very many Blu-rays, probably about between 10 and 15. But there wasn't anything that I wanted to pick up. Um, Game-wise, you know, um, board games, <sighs> nothing really interesting there. They've got a Star Wars jigsaw puzzle. There was some Xbox games, but I don't think they're worth anything. A, a few of those sports games. So, uh, I mean, it'll be a place to come back to every now and again. You know, not every week. So every time I do a Blu-ray hunt in Folkestone, I can pop over here and stop in here. Hopefully it'll be a bit less busy because I've never seen this car park this busy before. Um, even though that we've got Halfords there, we've got Subway there, we've got Benson's for beds and we've got a gym. Ever since they put the gym in, um, a lot more people started parking here. But I think because it only opened yesterday, it's more um, interest, you know. Um, yeah. Anyway, so we are done here then, so uh, no point hanging around here. So we've done one stop. As I said, I did pick up that unit uh, for £7, which was pretty good, because I think that type of unit is in Argos is anywhere between maybe £30 and £40. And then I've got to put it together. Um, but it's a black one, and my cinema room has black... Um, black bookcases in fact I've already got two of those in the back bedroom as it is in the cinema room so it's all going to help I, I'll find a place to put that I've got a pretty good idea of where I'm going to squeeze that in oh <laughs> but uh yeah overflow space fantastic and it only cost me seven quid right okay so let's go into the center of Folkestone let's go to uh a few shops let's go and have a look in uh, Asda, see what they've got in or see what they've had in this week and also we'll go to CEX, I've still got like £55 vouchers left so you never know, haven't been to CEX over here since way before Christmas, oh god it's got to be like November maybe, probably November or December, something like that yeah so we'll have a look in there and uh, there's a couple of other charity shops we'll pop into as well. So, okay, yeah, let's get into the uh, into the town centre and uh, the next stop will be Asda. Okay, so next stop, Asda. Oh, oh, hell. Bloody travelator ain't working. Bollocks. Yeah, so bloody travelator not working, so let's walk all the way, go through the car park and get in the bleeding lift. Bollocks. Let's go and have a look at the physical media. Okay, at least they've still got bloody physical media. That's a good thing, isn't it? What have we got? Oh, we've got a couple of Halloween and Joker up here for in the two for 12. That's pretty good. Uh, it looks like they've mixed in Blu-rays with DVDs. Still need to see that, even though people say it's crap. Uh, Fantastic Beasts 3 film collection. We've got Black Adam up here and Strange World on DVD plus Bros. <laughs> when will I? Yeah, shall I pull? Got the Halloween trilogy DVD, Ticket to Paradise, Fark, Fark Shenzi, yeah, Shark Frenzy. Still, uh, not sure whether to pick that up. Maybe I'll wait until that's like three quid. Uh, I've got Black Adam up here for 15. Uh, my Top Guns on 4K. Halo Season 1. Some Star Trek. First time on Blu ray. The very best of Lauren Hardy. Fry Film Collection. 20 quid. Okay. And also Westworld. the usual stuff. Battle at Watergate Bridge which I've got on Blu-ray. Full day in there plus also the Disney stuff. Police Academy complete collection on DVD is 10 quid now or seven, seven uh, films. Okay 
Yeah, not too bad. Okay, so not really that much new stuff. More DVDs than Blu-rays, I think, of the new stuff. But anyway, they had some. So uh, let's go to our next stop, CEX. Next stop then, CEX. Let's pop in. Okay, let's have a look, see what we've got then. Uh, so we do have a 4K 310 to humor for eight pounds. That's pretty good with a slipcover. Uh, down here we have uh, the Bad Boys collection. That's pretty good. What was that about eight quid, I think? Uh, we also have Capricorn one for eight quid. Is it everything? This is eight quid in the shop. <laughs> I doubt it. Crazy stupid love there. We have Guardians of the Galaxy, six pounds, uh, the 3D version. Uh, we also have the Lethal Weapon collection there. Pretty good. Uh, a Lego 3D movie for two fifty with a really nice slip cover. Uh, we also have the Last Jedi on four K and the Sylvester Stallone collection for twelve pounds. Um, here is uh, the Twilight Zone season four. This is uh, the original series. Okay, so there wasn't a brilliant amount of stuff in that CEX. I think um, somebody must have picked over a load of stuff, but uh, not as much as they used to have. Why are the kids running the road? It's not half term yet. Get back to school, you lazy kids. Um, yeah, let's go over to Children's Tr Trust, no, Pilgrim's Hospice. Go and have a look, see what they've got. There might be something in CEX that I might pick up with my voucher though. We'll see. But anyway, next stop, Pilgrim's Hospice. Okay, let's go and have a look, see if Pilgrim's Hospice has got any new media in. Well, like every charity shop, loads of DVDs, especially box sets, brothers and sisters, some still sealed, the West Wing, a killing. Yeah, not very many Blu-rays in here, unfortunately. We've got um, Vampire Diaries and uh, like the complete be Being Human. Uh, down here, another load of DVDs. Uh, there's a few like Blu-rays mixed in. So here's two. There's uh, A Walk Among the to Tombstones with a slip cover. It's the Liam Neeson film. Uh, more DVDs down here more DVDs that was pretty much it with the blu-rays which is a bit unusual because there's been more blu-rays in here before okay so there wasn't much in that shop at the Pilgrim's Hospice but uh, let's go and have a look in the next one British Art Foundation see if they've had anything new in <sighs> apologies due to issues beyond our control this shop is temporarily closed until further notice okay Charity shops closing left, right and centre. What is going on in the world? Okay, let's go to our next stop then. Children's Trust, I think. Cancer Research, further up the road. Yeah, into Cancer Research. Let's go and have a look and see if they've got any new stuff in. There's somebody actually just in front of me to the left, so I've had to zoom in. But uh, they've got Blu-rays, but nothing of any interest. Okay, well, a lot of old shit in there. So um, <coughs> let's go back down to... CEX, I think go back to the car. Okay, so yes, uh, other than the cabinet back here, I did pick one thing up. Uh, very happy with what I picked up. So let's go home and I'll show you what I've got. Okay, so back from the shops. Do you know, sometimes I wonder why I say that. Where do you think I am? <laughs> yes, it's like going there, sitting in the car saying, OK, I'm in the car. There's a steering wheel. Oh, yeah, it's just one of those silly things that people say. Anyway, we are back from the shops. I am in the cinema room and a uh, couple of things. First of all, I've just had a delivery from the lovely people at Savvy. I will be doing a separate unboxing for this. It's for Ragnarok, the 4K Mondo Steelbook. So yes, just come through the door. It looks really nice. So I'll unbox that one very soon. Okay, so my little trip to Folkestone. So I was disappointed with the ma with the charity shops in the town. <sighs> yeah, British Art Foundation was closed for some reason. It may be the same reason as what happened with Canterbury because there was two charity shops that were closed over there. Uh, maybe they didn't have the staff, you know, because they're all volunteers. So maybe they had to shut for that reason. Uh, the big one, the big uh, Salvation Army, um, was okay. It was okay. Not what I was expecting, like I said. I was expecting it to be a bigger shop. 
for 2,000 square feet. So um, it's still okay. It's still good to have like seven miles away. I mean, I, I'm going to pop in there every now and again. So hopefully there'll be new physical media donated and uh, hopefully it'll be a li little bit quieter. But there's nothing like that one in Maidstone. That is a fantastic one, the old Demelza. You know how much media they have in there and games and books and all sorts of stuff. So um, hopefully we'll be popping in there on Wednesday. Um, as well as that little shop, that little quaint little treasure tre chest shop where <laughs> they have a few Blu-rays and stuff. Um, other than that, the only other thing was CEX. Now, I did pick up something that I've been toying with for a couple of weeks because it was in Dover's CEX, but the outside packaging had one of those horrible scores around it. Had like a you know like a spine sl a slash on a steel book that kind of thing all the way around it and at that time I decided I didn't want to pick that up and have that you know on the shelf so when you look at the shelf you got a big spine slash but I found this one in uh, Folkestone's today I didn't know it was there so it was just chance uh, and I figured okay I've got my voucher. Let's have a look at it first. So I asked the woman to take it down onto the counter, looked at it, looked at the insides. Uh, it looks like it's complete, uh, which I'll go through in a minute. But uh, I am really happy because I'd I bought maybe seven or eight seasons of this individually when they were like 30 quid each. Yeah, you can know how much you spend now, don't you? I've still got a few seasons to get rid of. I'm probably just going to take them to some char some charity shops. Uh, but now that I've got the complete, and uh, this is the complete Supernatural on Blu-ray. So this is all 15 seasons. Fantastic. And this, this is in excellent condition. Just needs a bit of a dust and a, maybe a little bit of a clean, you know, for grubby, grubby paws and mitts and stuff like that. But um, yeah, there's no big dents in it or scores or anything like that. So really happy I picked that up. Um, here's the receipt. Uh, I already had, right, well, this was 80 quid, as you can see there. Uh, it's currently on HMV for, I think, £169. Ooh, we know that HMV can be a bit stupid when it comes to pricing. But I think you can get it on Amazon for about £109. Uh, so 80 quid is probably one of the cheapest place, you know, the cheapest places you can get it for. So I had a voucher for £52.50. So cash payment, £27.50. I don't know if you can see that there without it. You can probably see it, just make it out. So £27.50. So, uh, yeah, if you, I mean, 80 quid, I probably wouldn't have paid 80 quid for it. You know, for that kind of money, I'd, I'd like it brand new. Um, but because I had the £52.50 voucher, it was worth doing because I had 30 quid cash in, in my uh, wallet anyway. So it only cost me 30 quid cash, less than 30 quid cash. But uh, yeah, so uh, let me just unbox it. So I'm just going to slide it out um while i was sitting in costa i actually did open it up and checked all the discs and went through all the discs so there we are so it comes like that so this is the this is the big wrap around thing that goes around the whole box set so let me just have a look at this because i didn't have a good look at this one so it is a bit tatty but that's okay uh, there is the insides there, so that's everything that you get there. So it's uh, a compiled with Supernatural's global family of superfans in mind. The complete series includes all 15 seasons, totaling 327 episodes. Hours of special features include in-depth features, audio commentaries on select episodes, unaired scenes and more. Uh, plus a 68-page collectible booklet featuring exclusive archival photos, letters from the producers and a select discography of the show's classic rock moments. Yeah, um, so it looks like everything is intact. Uh, 
I've only seen probably the first eight seasons. So I'm only halfway through. Um, I, I mean, I didn't stop for any particular reason. Just life gets in the way sometimes. Uh, and um, I just never continued. But uh, yeah, there is the box set. So they all come in these jumbo ammo cases. Uh, so it's not per season. It's like this one is seasons one to two. And then you get another one that's like seasons three to five, that kind of thing. Um, but uh, they've all got blue discs. Some of them have got quite a few episodes on as well. Uh, like uh, disc one, it's got six episodes on. So that's like six six hours on one disc. I don't know if that's um, affected the quality. <laughs> you know, shoving so many on, on per disc. Then again, it shows you that you can fit crap loads on. So there we go. Um, it also has this one, which is uh, the 15th and final season special features. So this is just like a, a disc thing on its own. Um, and it is actually on here. So it is part of it. You can see it there. So it is a bit, bit weird why they did this rather than maybe include include it in the box set itself but this is just the special features so as a as season 15 special features so yeah so there we go so that's great and then there's all the special features on the back there um, and then yes there is the booklet there is the lovely glossy booklet with the boys on the back there and uh lots of episode guide Huge episode guides, tons of episode guides, and lots of production photos, behind the scenes photos, and uh, yeah, loads of stuff. I love it, yeah. Um, every single episode there. I mean, when I restart it, I'm going to watch it right again from the, from the beginning. There's no point me starting, like, trying to get into season eight again, because I can't remember anything that happened actually before it. So I'll, I'll need to re-watch it all again. Fantastic. So far as the music is concerned, it does have a really great rock soundtrack. Classic rock from the 70s and the 80s. Uh, and one that stands out in my head of one of the episodes... Uh, with his Queen's Reich Silent Lucidity. That one always stood out. It always stood out. I think it was a beautiful, beautifully written episode as well. Uh, but I really do want to watch that, that episode again. So there we go. So that is all of the Supernatural episodes. Um, I'm going to just stick this back in there. Rather than try and wrap it around the actual box. Because it does fit in there snug. And then... Just put the box set on top. Yeah. And uh, hope these come off. In fact, I'm going to have a go now. Let's have a go. Well, this, this one is kind of fantastic. Okay, so I've got the 80 quid one off. That's always the round one, isn't it? This is always the one that naffs people off but uh cex have started using new stickers now that are not so sticky but what is the situation it looks like it's an old sticker no oh no well i don't know it may just be that it's very sticky because it is tearing, but it is coming off. So if I'm very careful, I can just peel that off slowly. Slowly does it. I think we're going to be all right. It's almost done. Okay, so there's the main bit. Um... Let me just try and remove that bit as well. 
that you didn't think you was going to come on here and be on the edge of your seat with me peeling stickers off. Okay, so it's left a bit of a gooey mess there, just some glue, but I have the sticker. So I think if I do that, do that a few times, I'll be able to get it off. But uh, yeah, that's how it is at the moment. So I'm happy with that anyway, but I will continue to get some of that crap off. I'm, I'm just glad it's not completely stuck on there and you can't remove it. Fantastic. So there we go. So yes, that is a little Blu-ray hunt today to Folkestone and uh, very happy with what I picked up. I've been meaning to, like I say, I've been meaning to wanting to get all of the Supernatural, but I kind of like gave up eight or nine seasons in with the Blu-rays because it was just going on and on. I knew that it was going to go on for another couple of years and um, I just decided maybe... I'll wait till the series ends and then buy a complete box set. But I'm really happy I bought it for £27.50. <laughs> With me voucher, of course. So there we go. So, yeah, I hope uh, you enjoyed today's little Blu-ray hunt. Like the video by giving it some thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, comment and share. Uh, stick down in the comments below uh, if you've seen Supernatural and if you're a fan of Supernatural. I know Megan's probably going to comment. <laughs> what is your favourite episode? Uh, or what is your favourite track? What is your favourite music track from one of the episodes? Like I say, the one that stands out for me is Queen's Rock's Silent Lucidity. But I'm looking forward to going through the entire 15 seasons. So it's going to take a bloody long time, isn't it? Um, binging it. I'll binge it, yeah. And then uh, coming across all the other music. Fantastic. So... Hope you enjoyed the video and uh, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.